Hey all you viewers out there, this is James Newberry, the Nintendo Wizman here. So far my computer as a game developer has been a bust. So many applicants for video game jobs has applied. Very few openings available. I even applied for Nintendo for crying out loud. I know what y'all thinking. Getting a career start as a game developer is nearly impossible. Right. Especially for a person who was diagnosed for uh, autism, makes starting my career even harder, right? Well, I'll tell you what. If I cannot get a job right now as a game developer, then I'll try a different route. Hopefully this route will help me land me a job as a game developer very soon. Now I'm going to start a social documentary about my life as a video game player with Asperger's Syndrome. First, let me tell you what you need to know about me. I was born a healthy baby on April 24th, 1989, weighing about 12 to 10 pounds. I learned how to read books at a very young age, and I even tried my hand at reading high school book, textbooks at that time. Ain't that impressive? I simply would not stop reading books until I finished reading them. I was having very good times when reading them. The reason why I became autistic is still a mystery. If there was a time when I was autistic, I would simply say that it could be the day I started reading books or maybe that fateful day as a three-year-old. And that day, one, of the, one day, one of my sisters, and her name is Ruth, had become sick with strep throat. It was also the day that I had to see the doctor to get some shots. In order to save time, my mom had to take me and Ruth to the doctor's office. I believe at what, at that time in the car, I, will, I became ill with Ruth's strep throat because this disease was contagious. Well, it is contagious. When we were at the clinic, the doctor thought that giving me shots wasn't a good idea at that time, but my mom insisted anyway. The shot that. I was given did sting by the way, but my mom perhaps, I think maybe mom had made their first mistake making this decision from this dilemma. After that day, I realized there are so many bad things among the many good, mixed among the many good things. The pain that I get from the shot got worse because I had succumbed to strep throat. Every night after that time, I screamed at the top of my lungs, hoping that the pain would go away. I was literally out of control for many months, and my mom had to rock me to calm me down. Because I yelled so loudly at that time, my ears did get infected. The doctor from the clinic didn't have the solution to calm me down. But when I was six years old, my mom had to consult a pediatrician named Dr. Kopak. He insisted put on putting, he suggested putting tubes in my ears to stop the infection and also prescribed Adorax to produce a calming effect on me. And when I was a tot, I loved to swim, but I cannot swim when I had tubes in my ears because water can cause problems for me. I had to wait until I was about 11 years old before I could swim again. Okay, well enough said. About my personal life. Let's talk about video games. When I was born, my older brother Danny, his name is Danny, had an, a Nintendo Entertainment System. And there were times when he played some of his NES games, for example. I believe the first game I had played on the NES was Dr. Mario. As most of you know, would know, Dr. Mario is a puzzle game that involves killing viruses among numerous skill levels. When I was four, Danny got a Sega Genesis probably for his birthday or something. And I remember that one day at Toys R Us day, I loved to took a look at a Super Mario Land on the store's Game Boy screen. And I found it quite enjoyable that they took this home with the Sega Genesis anyway. Well, I did enjoy playing with that the Genesis so much. My that Danny later gave it and put, bestowed it to me. My favorite 
game on the and Genesis of Sonic the Hedgehog 2. I got into this game numerous times as well as many other games. Another console I played, I enjoyed playing in my youth was the Super NES in the family van. I enjoyed playing Yoshi's Island while trying traveling on the road trips. It was so fun to play in the van, and it keeps me occupied and away from my troubles. Unfortunately, due to financial issues, we had to sell the van eventually because of when I was 10 years old, around Thanksgiving, Angel, and the, well, who's another one of my sisters, had a boyfriend in the, at that time. And his name is Charlie, by the way. He introduced me to this N60, Nintendo 64, and a game called Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. I never enjoyed violence so much as a kid, because they remind me of bad times. I played the game until the middle of the Dungo's up until the middle of the Dungo's confirmed dungeon because the game was just getting too violent for me. I ultimately did get another Rune 64 for Christmas and I did enjoy playing Mario Party that was rented on me at that time. I did get that game for Christmas as well as along with Super Mario 64. I did receive a GameCube before high school and a Wii before college. And, and as for handheld gaming, I did start with a Game Boy Pocket at 6. About 10, I played with a Game Boy Color. At 13, I started with a Game Boy Advance SP. Then I transitioned to the DS at 15. And now I'm playing the DS, 3DS, which I had started playing around 20. And, as for the Wii, I now have a Wii U and a 3DS now. And I'm getting anxious to start playing the games, so, so let's just get started.